I have a Tesla. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very wonderful car. I really like it. Really happy. I discovered yesterday that mm -hmm. if you, if something goes wrong with that car, you get a flat. <laughs> yeah. There's no way to get anybody. <laughs> Oops. Oops. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you realize you have a flat tire and after you've pulled over, obviously, is uh, open the app so that you can contact roadside assistance. And it's in the app right at the bottom here. You can see roadside assistance. <laughs> well, you say we try that one again, huh? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, without the oops. There's no spare tire and there's no way no. to get to anybody. They want you to email them if you need help. So once you've requested Tesla roadside assistance, um, they will communicate with you vis-a-vis -vis the app and it's very convenient. It's really, really easy. Oops. You, Elon, have brought, you know, a piece of Twitter. Well, I'm tweeting you from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take some of your money, please. Yeah. And create a roadside assistance thing that doesn't require me to look for a signal because if there yeah. isn't one, you are really screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree that Whoopi Goldberg may have the best job on the planet. Like, literally. Say the dumbest crap imaginable, be wrong nearly 100% of the time, and get rich doing it. Now, sure, everyone can agree that Sister Act was a movie, but outside of that, I don't think Whoopi Goldberg's ever really contributed anything to the cultural zeitgeist that's worth remembering. Other than her most hilarious recent gaffes, where she decided, you know, to claim that the big H, you know, the event that led to the, the WW2 was not about race. And when she complained about people calling her elite and saying that that's basically the exact same thing as being racist, Whoopi Goldberg is an absolute idiot, vapid of any real knowledge. She is a vessel in which the mainstream media purports their garbage uh, opinions and we saw that again today where the clear narrative now is well we've got to criticize elon musk we've got to find a way to criticize elon musk so this morning whoopi goldberg decided to admit that yes she drives a tesla but instead of buying nine percent of twitter elon musk should have done this this after a quick word from this video sponsor huge shout out to this video sponsor Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. They allow people to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so they can call themselves a lord or a lady officially. In return, they commit to plant a tree with every order and protect the beautiful pristine woodlands of Scotland. Established Titles makes an absolutely amazing gift and a person could officially get their name changed on documents. Their title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate and an official certificate with a crest. Established Titles is currently having a really big sale just for you, my subscribers. You can get an additional 10% off any purchase you make with the discount code THEQUARTERING. So click the link below, go to establishedtitles.com slash thequartering and use promo code the quartering to save an extra 10% today. Now, just a brief look, just a brief look at some of the absolute moronacy. Is that a word? I don't think it is. By the way, you know what's not moronic? Taking your rear end over in a new window to the quartering.com and joining my mailing list. There is a future in the not so distant future in which email is going to be the only way I want to contact people. Uh, I'm losing faith in social media, and should I get banned, it's important. And I'm working on a big project on the website, so please do sign up. Now, I'm not going to spam you with Raid Shadow Legends ads, I promise. Whoopi Goldberg call, uh, says calling Hollywood stars elite is the same thing as racism. Whoopi Goldberg, and this is like a week ago, my friends, five days ago. Five, one, two, three, four, five, beef. Five fifth days ago, Whoopi Goldberg has defended the star studded Oscars audience for giving Will Smith a standing ovation after he smacked Chris Rock 
saying to call, that to call Hollywood types hypocritical elites is the same thing as racism. The actress who's back on The View after her suspension for saying that the big H was actually not about race came to the defense Thursday of her celebrity colleagues after they dismissed Will Smith's or dismissed Will Smith's on stage incident with her shrugging, meh, stuff happens. Guest View co host Tara Setmayer, don't know who that is, has been outraged by the ritzy audience reaction, insisting that there needs to be a lot of self reflection in Hollywood. That's literally the one thing Hollywood cannot do. They gave Smith a standing ovation, she noted. Which goes back to why some people feel like Hollywood elites are a bunch of hypocrites, added the show's lone conservative voice. I like how they bring in one conservative and then they have three uber libs. Seems like a fair fight. Goldberg, who serves as a governor of the Academy's Actors Branch and won her Oscar in 1991 for Best Supporting Actress for Ghost? 30 years ago? I forgot that movie even existed. I'm sorry, as one of those people, I've got to stop you. I just want to stop with all this, quote, elite stuff. Because a lot of us work for a living, she said, insisting that while some are making millions of dollars, that's not everybody in the movie industry. Yeah, except Whoopi Goldberg, that's not who people are calling elite. Again, people aren't calling the gaffers and the people that work craft services elite. People aren't talking... People aren't calling, you know, uh, uh, unpaid interns elite. They're calling you, Whoopi Goldberg, elite. They're talking about, about the, if, look, put it this way. Everybody who was at the Oscars, who wasn't a seat filler, was elite. Everybody standing for the Will Smith 15 minutes after he smacked somebody was elite. Therefore, the criticism that, Seeing a bunch of people standing up in a room where elite is 100% valid. And it really pisses me off when people start to talk about people who work in Hollywood, not just actors, but other folks. No, 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 Whoopi Goldberg. Nobody's talking about, again, the hourly, the wages, the plebs that get your triple fat, non-fat mocha lattes. That's not who people are talking about, and you know that. What you're doing is what an elite would do. Grab one of the plebs and put them in front of you as a shield for criticism. If you're pissed off about somebody or how they act, don't put it on all of us because that's like saying all black people like chicken, she said, comparing a crude racial trope. I'm sure there are plenty of black people that don't like chicken. But, I, I, I mean, it is a stereotype, certainly, but usually stereotypes are based on some level of truth. I like chicken. I never really order it, though. You know, that's funny. I have a KFC, like, right up the road, but it always looks dingy, and I never really want to order it. And when I go to a restaurant, I never really want to order fried chicken. But I love it. Anyway, now I want chicken. It's lunchtime, so I'm kind of hungry. But I won't be eating fried chicken. I'll be eating a stupid spinach salad. Delicious. Anyway, that leads up to her absolute brainlet take this morning. The View targets Tesla, in response to Elon Musk's Twitter stock purchase, liberal co-hosts call on Musk to invest in Tesla's roadside assistance program, suggesting he could afford to after the Twitter stock purchase. Except Twitter has a roadside service. It has a 24-hour free roadside assistance program. But listen to this absolute vapid moron insist that they don't have any help, that you just have to, quote, send an email. I have a Tesla. Oh, yeah. Okay. By the way, not the burn you think it is. You know, with all these Hollywood elites talking about how they own Teslas, it's not exactly uh, your criticisms about the evilness of Elon Musk. They don't hold as much weight as you probably think they do. By the way, there's another member on the stage who chimes in and says that, they also own a Tesla, and they're mad that there's not a spare tire in there. Listen, B, you ain't changing no spare tire. Let's be real. Very wonderful car. I really like it. Really happy. I discovered yesterday that if you, if something goes wrong with that car, you get a flat. Yeah. There's no way to get anybody. Okay. 
Roadside Assistance Tesla available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Click. Here's your toll free number 1 877 798 3752. That's 1 877 798 3752 for Tesla's easily researchable, fully funded roadside assistance. Available 24 hours a day, 365 days a week. Christmas, got it. Easter, got it. Kwanzaa, got it. You can get your roadside assistance in North America, Canada, Mexico, all over the planet. Live in Lithuania, bam, they got you covered. Luxembourg, gotcha. Switzerland, Slovenia, Hungary, Estonia, everywhere. You want to live, you live in Jordan, you need some roadside assistance, bam, there you go. You live in the United Arab Emirates, you got roadside assistance. What are you talking about? She's like outright lying. And by the way, oh, and it gets even better. Like, here, here's, what it, here's what it really is. Again, somebody told these broads to say well we've got a we've got to slam elon musk today because him investing in twitter is a bad thing although, although i also see all these idiotic takes from people like well for the money elon musk invented in twitter he could have given every american a hundred thousand dollars that's not his responsibility are you joking miss me with this communist socialist garbage okay Elon Musk doesn't owe you a dime. So obviously I've shown the roadside assistance, right? That's true. There's no, uh, that's true. That's true. She says because he's fascinated by, um, a now her husband, who, this other woman who's talking, talks about her husband who also owns a Tesla. So two out of the five women you see here are in the Tesla family, but because they, because, because Elon's such an evil man, they just can't live without buying his products electric cars right. and the fact that you're not burning gas right. and you're helping the environment you're not helping the environment by driving a tesla and i am a tesla owner and i'm telling you that the oil and all the stuff that goes into creating the tesla by the way what do you think they burn to create the electricity that i charge my tesla with it's coal we own a tesla because it's the fastest production car out there and it's we like it if you buy a Tesla and you're walking around thinking you're saving the planet, you're an actual moron, okay? And also, maybe, you know, if our government were to invest in nuclear power, we could talk about how we're not burning so much coal to, puff, to, to, to fuel our energy grid. Or if our government were, were to invest more in solar, okay, then, yeah. But if you buy a Tesla right now and you're driving, you're not saving the planet. You're not. And again, I own one, okay? And then this absolute, like, imagine the Olympic levels of stretch here. Yeah. So if you, you know, on most 90% of the cars, you can push a button. Yeah, like yeah. an SOS. Somebody, an and, SOS and you something. also have, most cars, you have that, um, a donut. Tesla doesn't give you a spare tire. No! What? No spare tire? Oh my God. Wow, something that everybody knows going into purchasing it. Everybody knows when they buy the thing is somehow an issue now. Why? Because Elon Musk bought 10% of Twitter. That's why these idiots are trying to... I have a Tesla. I have a Tesla. I have a Tesla. But ooh, Elon Musk doesn't give me free roadside assistance even though he does. Ooh, I don't get a spare tire in the car that I agreed to when I purchased it in the first place because I wanted extra trunk space. Ooh. I'm 75 years old and I haven't changed a tire in my whole life. I wouldn't have changed a tire had I had it, but ooh, most people that drive Teslas haven't ever changed a tire. Okay. Or they don't change tires. They don't have to change tires. Let's, I mean, what a ridiculous stretch. There's no spare tire. That seems like a crazy problem. Yo, you Elon have bought a piece of Twitter. I'm tweeting you from here, Whoopi said. Take some of your money, please, and create a roadside assistance thing that doesn't require me to look for a signal. Um, you understand that if your cell phone doesn't have signal, then your 
it's highly unlikely that whatever roadside assistance button you had in your Buick is going to work either. And by the way, you knew this when you bought the car, okay? Sit down. This is Olympic levels of stretch. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.